Are you looking for a nifty little lightweight, easy to use headlamp for your next hike? Then the Black Diamond Ion is just the headlamp for you. Let's go. Hello long distance hikers and long term world travellers, Russ here bringing you the best tips and inspiration for hiking around the world. In this video we're going to talk about some of the things that I liked and some of the things that I didn't like so much about this headlamp, but first we'll talk about some of the specs and the features. Stick around to the end of this video for a top tip on how to choose the right headlamp for you. So I've been using this headlamp for about a year now, I bought it in Cotswold Outdoor for £20, you can find it on Amazon between £19 and £22, I will put a link in the description below so you can pick this headlamp up for a good price. Bought this headlamp for the South Downs Way hike that I did last year which was 100 miles. Uh, I just needed something that was much more lightweight than the one I already had and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, but this headlamp has done me really really well and I really enjoyed using it and it was perfect for setting up camp and wild camping uh, on those quickly drawing in evenings. I loved how small, light and compact it was and the settings are really easy to learn so let's go over those now. Okay let's start with the basics so to turn on and off you just click once and then click once for off and then for the red light you then click and hold and then you get a red light and then to get the white light you then switch it back off and then you switch and hold to get the white light again and then it's back on. Uh, for the brightness you keep it switched on and then click and hold for the brightness and it'll actually toggle down all the brightnesses and just keep cycling around. The same goes for the red light so if you switch it off and then click and hold and then click and hold again then it will start cycling around on the red light. For the flashing red light you just keep it switched on and triple click and then you get a flashing red light. To lock the headlamp so that it doesn't switch on in your bag you click and hold while it's switched off until a little red light flashes. There you go. So now you can see I'm clicking it and nothing happens if this is in your bag. Uh, it should really help in stopping it from switching on with all of your stuff in your bag pushing on the button. To unlock you just click and hold the button on the top until the little white light flashes. There we go, that's unlocked now. To open the back to access the battery compartment you just flip open the back plate and then you pull the clip and then it's open. To shut the back door again it literally just clips shut like that and you're good to go. Okay so now we've gone over some of the settings let's go over the specs and the features of the Black Diamond Ion Headlamp. It weighs in at 55 grams, it was just shy of 2 ounces uh, and on the highest setting it will last for 6 hours and on the lowest setting it will last for 180 hours which is pretty insane. This headlamp is water resistant to a meter for about 30 minutes uh, but water will still get into the battery compartment so you're going to have to take those out and dry them off anyway. Okay so now we've gone over some of the specs, let's talk about some of the things that I really liked about this headlamp. I really love how small and light this is and for a 100 lumen headlamp uh, you really can't go wrong, it's really nice. Yeah it is just shy of 2 ounces and yes it's very small so I suppose that is quite heavy with the batteries in it but to shave off some grams you could take off the head strap but who really cares. The strap is really soft and comfy and very easy on the skin so it's nice and comfortable to wear. I really love this tightening buckle on the head strap you just push the button and then slide it backwards and forwards uh, to get the desired length that you want so it's very easy to use. The push button settings on the top take a couple of uses to get used to but I just watched the Black Diamond feature video on their website uh, specifically for this headlamp and I figured it out very very quickly. I also love the anchor point on this so that when you're turning the brightness down it gives you a little flash and then it goes back up and gives you another little flash when it's on its highest setting. So that's a really nice feature so you're not guessing oh is it at the highest point is it at the lowest point you'll know just because it has a little anchor point in the light setting there. Okay so now we've talked about some of the things that I really liked about this headlamp let's talk about some of the things that I didn't like so much. Clicking and hold to lock this thing is a really effective way to do it uh, but clicking and holding for a further three seconds to unlock it I did find that in my bag if it was kind of squashed up against something something would actually click and hold it anyway and it would be in my bag just flicking through the brightness just like that so I actually feel like a triple click would have been a much more uniform way to unlock this thing uh, so it's very unlikely that in your bag something as uniform as a triple click like that would actually uh, be able to unlock this thing. So just an idea to Black Diamond for an update on this uh, really it didn't bother me too much and it only happened once but it is possible to unlock this thing just by holding it against something in your bag. Batteries in this thing died on me while I was on my way up to Namche Bazaar while I was doing my Everest base camp trek and yes that's expected these things are going to happen but it happened so suddenly. One minute this thing is like ultra bright and then it just went boom and then it was dead. There was no warning, there was no dimming of the light that was noticeable. Yes that's good because you get the most amount of power out of your battery but some kind of signal saying Russ you need to change the batteries because it's going to be really dark if you don't and you won't be able to see where you're walking that would have been very good. Obviously not a little voice inside the headlamp doing that but just some kind of indication, some dimming of the light just to give you a rough idea of how long you've got left on the batteries. Finally the last thing that I really didn't like about this is yes it's water resistant in the 
circuit board compartment, but the battery compartment isn't. I did mention this earlier. What would have been amazing is if they'd actually put like a rubber gasket around the edge of the back door for the battery compartment so that when it's submerged in water, no water actually gets in there. I don't know why they didn't do this. They could have easily sealed the back. Maybe it was to cut the price down or maybe it was just to make sure that it was very easy to open. Maybe putting a rubber gasket around the inside wasn't so much of a good idea just because of that. But uh, yeah, to me, like there must have been some kind of way to engineer this thing so that the whole thing was water resistant. So if this thing goes into water and you get water inside the battery compartment, you're gonna have to open the back door anyway to take the batteries out and make sure it's all dry in there. Otherwise your batteries are gonna corrode really quickly. When it rains, this thing doesn't really get filled with water in the battery compartment then. I did actually have a look inside after it had rained and the water just seems to kind of run off the edge and not really go inside. So uh, yeah, it's water resistant in the rain. But I guess the best thing to do with this headlamp is to not go swimming in it don't drop it in big pools of water and if it rains really heavily uh, maybe take it off and seek some shelter and wait for the rain to stop because if you're hiking at night in the rain you won't want to be walking without a headlamp overall the black diamond ion headlamp is a very good all-round headlamp for those three season hikes uh, in good to moderate visibility the old headlamp that I had that I ditched for the black diamond ion headlamp was a CSX plus 250 lumen headlamp and yes it looked flashier it had brighter LEDs on it but it had all of these whizzy wig kind of settings on it it had like a, a swipe kind of function so that you could change the settings just by waving your hand in front of it and what really peeved me off about that setting was that if it rained the rain would actually trigger it off so I was walking down the southwest coast path in the woods in the middle of the night it started raining and the raindrops were just triggering this kind of uh, hand motion sensor uh, way of toggling through the different settings it was really really annoying it's definitely the reason why I ditched that old headlamp I just wanted something simple with the button that you could press instead of this silly weird setting and also it was bulkier it was heavier it was much more plasticky and flimsy the batteries didn't last as long because it was a brighter headlamp it is actually the exact same price as this headlamp right now I think it's 20 pounds in the sale at go outdoors which is where I bought it from originally but definitely I would much prefer to go for this headlamp okay guys uh, as I promised earlier in the video here's a top tip on how to choose the right headlamp when choosing a headlamp don't let lumens determine your choice yes more lumens means more light but uh, more light means less battery light. Also, every headlamp is designed with a different shape and a different size and different beam angles, so lumens aren't a very consistent way of measuring across all headlamps. Just keep in mind exactly what you're gonna be using this headlamp for and for how long you're gonna be using it for and how much battery life you're gonna need. A range of beam modes is very good for low visibility and different technical types of hiking, uh, but for three season, normal, moderate hiking, you're just gonna need something simple just like this. Okay, folks, campfire question. What headlamp do you use and why and how long does the battery last? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. The Trail Hunter community would love to hear from you. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, then hit that thumbs up. Do be sure to watch either the videos to my side here. Also, if you haven't done so already, do consider subscribing to this channel for more videos just like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.